What are your views on the current AI wave? Are the challenges which business face while implement data-driven strategy? Hi everyone, welcome to the fourth episode of Talk Shadow, an initiative organized by the Industrial Linkage Club of the Department of Management with Spilani Pilani Campus. In this show, we will be interacting with faculty, scholars, students, and industry experts from various domains in order to learn their expertise, knowledge, and wisdom. Today we have with us Professor Pavitra Biswas, Professor of Practice who has completed one year recently as a faculty in the Department of Management with Spilani Pilano Campus. Congratulations on that, sir. He holds a specialization in Data Science, Analytics and AI. This is your host, Siddharth Sharma, MBA first year student in the Business Analytics domain. Thank you, sir, for being present with here with us today. It's an honor and pleasure for me to welcome you to the show. Thank you, Siddharth. You have had an impressive 18 years of experience in data science and analytics. What drew you to this field? And what are your key milestones which helped you shape yourself as a profession? Great question, Siddharth. In the field, I am in data science and analytics. And it is, the, it is the intersection between the technology and the research. So I can use the technology to come up with any kind of information. So beginning of my career, I helped my team to automate the overall marketing process, basically optimizing the marketing speed to get the data otherwise. So that saved a billion of dollars in the company. So if I talk about the key milestones, so I mentioned the three four key milestones, what I achieved during my 18 years of career. One is one of my insurance client where I helped them realize a benefit of 2 million GDP by uh, giving them a strategy uh, on the renewal policy. The second one is uh, there is a client from Australia, they are the telecom giant from Australia. Uh, we help them to realize 15% return on investment by implementing the marketing optimization solution. The third one is the, the big uh, client from European Union, uh, the beverage company. So we help them realize 5% benefit by applying the pricing and promise strategy. On top of this number, the what analytics is differentiating from the other work because this needs the collaboration across the different team as well as you will get a chance to work with the real life data. So when you work with the real life data, so that give you a lot of push so to learn and evolve. Thank you. Here. Sir, how many epic has been making headlines for revolutionizing the tech world? What are your views on the current AI? So far, AI is exciting. And even I can't keep it like probably you also. So every time you will say AI is person. And uh, if I think about right now, I see that uh, the AI is filling the transitions. And I am seeing these transitions. Currently, we are in the stage of task of logic, we can get all our things from this. Now, AI is currently not only a spin game, so eventually, it will be a partner to take that decision. So, we need to the AI in this space. Sir, also, OpenAI so is moving to be towards something called AGIs. So, what are your views on exact, what exactly AGI is and its impact? The AGI is the artificial intelligence. Part is aiming, they are aiming to replicate the human intelligence. If they realize this, but definitely it will be good for education. And personally, I want that to be realized as soon as possible so that the benefit boost to the game. But at the same time, you have to be responsible. You have to be seeing, we have to think when we are using it. And that should be for the better good. So lately, we have all come across a beauty of pixel style art studios where people upload their images and get animated images in the world. It's definitely true and most of us have tried and do it. But it has at the same time raised concerns about digital print and rights. So what are your views on the technical and the privacy side where people willingly share their data with the AI? I believe that the pixel style art is when I try it, it's a very prompt and I will get the image a great time. Then I asked Tom, okay, can you change this way? So he did. So it was really fun. 
but at the same time it is very interesting because people are trying to replicate their own groups so they are happening in the in the world no we are happening in the trip also and there is a problem of how biometric is being used by the patients and how they are using it and you know that there is always a conflict between the innovation thinking so as a as, as a user if you don't know how to save our personal information then 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 all information dealing in the chain so i mean in ideal scenario as a user we must we must be very informed and as a business they should be transparent about the policy process so the task to you also like open air needs to give more guidelines about the kind of other transparency Yeah, they could have taken the lead. Now think about the scenario. For example, we we are giving other information to the government, we are not. But when you are giving other information, we private individual, private entity, we are more concerned. Similarly, if you think about SBI bank and some small bank, private bank, we very good not. SBI definitely. So in some of the trust, so AI was the wrong concept to business to have it. So this transformation to happen. Concept business and right now this is transition to the concept and business. When this will become a habit, that will definitely be possible. So it will take some time, but I believe that will. So do you think like in a in a country like India, the government should now jump in and uh, they should uh, directly deal with the company and should have some kind kind of a trial where they ensure that actually this uh, the guidelines and everything is as per the government norms. and that they are not violating the ethics and of the privacy is being respected yeah definitely definitely see my take is uh, we want digital world but not at the cost of the person as i say i think that country will want the same thing can we should go by the policy that they typically work for the company Right. If they think for the people, so definitely they will replace all the companies for the policy, so that end of the day they are more familiar with it. So in a recent tweet, Sam Altman actually mentioned that the GPUs are literally bending because of the huge demand of the AI-generated models. It's really interesting. And if you ask me. What do you think are the environmental impacts of such high usage of AI devices? Yeah, so that's what we believe is really making sense. You know, when we use the different platforms, the GPUs, any application, it comes in lot of ways. I give you an example. If you want to download the GPU, the app on the top specifically comes in. That is, stay basically to run a full Windows. So now you understand the magnitude of electricity is is consumed. So if they consume so much of energy, definitely the carbon footprint also increases. As a scale AI, definitely they should move to the greener computing. They should optimize all the renewable. Even they should focus on the sustainability. In that the day, I want to take to grow, but not at the cost of planet resources. And so, do you believe that in the future years, as we are all telling that sustainable world is becoming very prominent these days, people capitally start speaking about sustainability, and they are saying that we are the first, the last generation to adopt the sustainability. So, in the future terms, that people will literally be able to achieve a balance between sustainability as well as they will be able to use AI standards. I think. I think that we are now known as a good thing. You try to go back ten years ago. We hardly spoke about it. Now we know how to save us. We have not many types. If we talk about that, we have a lot of things that we can solve. And there is a concept called green carbon credit. So if you are using a lot of energy, then you need to pay somewhere to grow the plantation. So this concept is very popular. I mean, even there are companies who are taking this as the word, and they are making a lot of money. My strong belief is that as we will not be able to make our life without AI, AI should be there. That will be our partner. At the same time, 
फिर भगत सिंह महान लेकिन मन क्या है और तिलक कोई भी बात करना तो कुछ ही नहीं है और आज पर ये वाज अ चैलेंज इज बिटवीन दिस प्लेस व्हाई डू यू इंप्लीमेंट डेटा टू मेक स्टार्ट या आई लाइक टू मेंशन द थ्री रिपोर्ट्स वन इज डेटा साइंस और इट कैन बी और they are not in fact able to convert the data into action so it's not about the technology it's about the mindset how you are training yourself how you are collaborating with the other team collaborating with the other team for meeting that so we believe that somehow we have an idea of the future where people will be able to make a better strategy without using the data or some of the data will be Is everywhere. There won't be any other possible solution without using the data. In evening data, always. For example, if you want to think something, what is the starting point? Can you think blank? No. So you have to think with certain data in this line. So if you are having something in this line, that is the data. Without data, okay. you need data to make the decision. We need that the one data part that is taken. This part is not. I think I also want to talk about that. I realize that the good, the best, and the worst part about data is that it's changing in a rapid pace with space time. As as from the perspective of company and also from the perspective of customer also. So the company and the businesses need to always be in a fast pace that they need to change and adapt to new requirements. So what do you think? How much feasible it will be? When people want something new these days, like right? something new, something trendy, something fresh right? every time, what's the relevance? I find it very much possible, but not maybe in just one or two years. Maybe it will take six to eight years. But why much? The way AI is processing and the way that computation power is increasing, that is the difference. And if I think about the high degree story from the starting. Why was it so? Why I got the new data in this day? Now this is where you can see the problem. There is no answer. There is no answer. You know, you can. And from there, there is no answer. You know, the big transition. And this transition went to the left. And you, the right now, the low cost, the cloud, the infrastructure. Because the computing which is starting, starting to develop, okay. And I believe there will be technology in two three years, wherein maybe in every one month or every three months, every quarter, every month. That's that's amazing. Okay, coming to your uh, first experience is here in Bilal. So after completing the interview of here in Bilal, how is this place treating you? and uh, if you want to mention any other favorite spot in the campus like go up yeah 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 everything so far i joined last year this year and i feel that's not it was really tricky but i love it and uh, the the pilani is quite amazing because of the layout of the rajasthani architecture and fresh to the style This is going to be a little architecture and play to the style. This day and night time, this is amazing. If I talk about the place, Pilani, actually, which Pilani? 
because of the reason I like each and every one of them. But the most I like is Chitra. Now, I hope you can do so. Do you like to bear if you have any advice or feel the like words of wisdom for them to use? Let me give you a solution. So be curious, learn as much as possible, and then continue learning. So don't learn only the syllabus. Go beyond to that. Make it fun for you. Make it your kind of fun uh, for you. That you know, academic stuff, regular stuff, extra curriculum stuff. Nowadays, my hunch is the higher level happening based on the based on your innovation capabilities, not how much and what is the degree you are putting. So, if you're still good, then you will get the job. And finally, I would say that stay humble and stay happy. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your insights and experience with us today. It was a pleasure speaking to you today. And to my listeners, hope you liked the episode. Please like, share, and comment. See you in the next episode. Thank you for tuning into Talk Show.